You're kind of sitting up a little higher. Ah! That's a little That's low. That's a little low. How's that? That's good. We couldn't start the pot off with you looking taller than me. <laughs> Why not? Does our... <laughs> Well, my, because I think our waist legs down are the same length. Your torso is longer than mine. That's, this is the one thing people are always surprised. If you meet me sitting down, you might not think I'm as tall as I am. Yes. Because I have a smaller torso. I'm literally what they would always say, you're on legs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's where my height comes from. <laughs> that probably, was that growing up something you were made fun of and later you realized what an asset what legs? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not like made fun of, but like, were you like gangly, like young little teen yes. Lissy I, with little spaghetti legs? The little spaghetti legs, for sure. If you saw photos of me when I was a little little girl, and my sister too, it cracks me up because her legs are even longer and thinner than mine were. Yeah, and so we just stand there. We just had the spaghetti arms and legs walking around. <laughs> and then later in life, it actually comes in handy. There Absolutely. are even guys you would be be considered like like thin or lanky but as you get older you realize oh you have a body type where you can have taco bell every night it's an asset thank you know you. i had a um i yours? i was called not many things really I, I was not merely made fun of for any body part i got called like a bubble butt sometimes yes but that was more of like a friendly thing it wasn't like a dig you're just like hey bubble butt <laughs> where i really kind of felt weird about it. then again as you got older i'm like oh for men having a thicker quad and buttocks this is going is great for our first pod back. actually a benefit because i think men struggle the most in the leg gym department with legs calves yeah. so if you had to have uh, you know a that muscular that works for me portion. now they some people could have thinner legs and are stronger because they do like more squats and like train right. but i just happen to anyway so <laughs> We're back. We are back. <laughs> um, Would you say that was off with a bang or off with a... <laughs> I don't know. Now everyone's like looking down at their own legs and <laughs> like, what is going they're like, on wait a minute, now? bringing back childhood memories. We're sorry <laughs> about that. But we missed you. We we missed you. Maybe, uh, maybe we're a little rusty. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Never. Never rusty. As you get older in life, you realize... The compounding effect of a skill set, though, really goes a long way. For sure. In real estate, you don't even realize how many times you're just, like, chatting with people. Like, that's the game, really. Yes. Like, to be a good real estate agent, yes, you need to know facts and figures, but it's a people business. And if you don't know how to hold a conversation and chat with somebody and genuinely listen, that's where I think people struggle. So for all of these zooms and content and acting that we've done over the years and even when it comes to interviews and podcasts because yes. this is probably like 245 ish but we've also had our members podcast what episode for three years you're talking yeah about. okay so we've had 245 public pods but our members 100 podcast... and like almost 120 wow on the members podcast which are sundays if you'd like to tune in and become a member <laughs> so we we've always kept that going um, but now we're back with the public podcast, so we're going to be doing both again, and we want it to be a weekly thing. We're at least going to do eight weeks, and because remember, we're doing kind of like seasons. We're doing seasons, But yeah. if we can work it into our schedule, we would like to come back. So we've, we've seen your comments, and it means the world to us that you want us to come back. We love catching you up on our lives and, yeah. and chatting about everything, and, and today happens to be, without us planning it, we knew June 7th, Wednesday, we were coming back, like probably a couple weeks ago, and we had no idea how great... Of a June okay. 7th, it would actually be to fill you in on what's going on with so our lives. What, what's so great with June 7th? What's been going on today? Well, nothing specific about the actual date. <laughs> it just so happens to be June 7th. But we had um, a, a couple who came to Orlando in February. And we showed them a few houses. And uh, that, this is pretty typical depending on people's schedules. Mm -hmm. Things come up, work, travel. You know, there, there's many different reasons why people, you know, they don't just sh show up one day like buying a lemonade at a lemonade stand where they just go, here you go, here's a dollar. It's like a home buying process can take time. Sure. And we built this great relationship with them starting in February. 
and it just took until around May. Yep. And they found this place online where they go, we, we can, can you just like do a video tour? Because yeah. they couldn't make it back in time. They didn't want to lose it. So we country. did a video tour. And after they saw the video and after we shared it with them too, because we were obsessed with it. We almost wanted to trade them. Like I, I'll, you, you take our house, we can take that because of the location for us. We like walking to places. <laughs> and uh, so they ended up going under contract and we just closed officially a couple hours yep. ago. Yep. So we closed on that property. They were so happy. They're the sweetest people ever. They're taking us out to dinner on Friday to celebrate, which is amazing. So we have to find a really cool place. And then on top of it all, we just landed a brand new listing. We did. In Reunion. Woo woo. And get this. Not to, let me tap you on the back instead of tapping myself mm -hmm. on the back. This is a nine bedroom, eight and a half bath, massive estate. And it's going to be our biggest listing that we've yep. had. Yeah. It's going to take us a good five to seven days to get everything organized before we can start um, making it active and putting in videos. But I think we're going to shoot some videos this Friday to start promoting yes. it. Yes. And this property, too, has a lot of themed rooms because in this area, there are a ton of short-term rental properties. And as you can imagine, with themed rooms, that really attracts someone who's coming to the Orlando area. So I saw that there was um, one that was like under the sea. It almost looked like, like a, a ship. Yeah. Which is kind of like Little Mermaid-esque. Yeah. Um, there are so many. We haven't been there in person. We've only seen the photos. So we're going to go Friday, get all of the content, do our own grand tour so we can really learn this property yeah. inside and out to be able to know everything that we need to know when putting it on the market. Because when you're the agent who is listing it, you, of course, have to know everything. Yes. If you're a buyer's agent, you, you, you get away with yeah. knowing the essentials and then you just ask the listing agent or research it. But if it's your own property you that you're representing, you want to know every little detail about it. But the reason we couldn't go in today is that it's booked out. Yep. So that's the other um, challenge is if you're listing a property that's in the short-term rental program, you if someone wants to see the property, but someone's staying there for 10 days, they can't get in. Right. So we're going to do what we do best and create videos, not only for social media in a way that it's digestible and fun for all of you to, to see it, but also a very detailed video specifically to send to agents when they're out of town clients or if it's booked yep. so that they can really see what this property is, what the numbers are, show them the water park that's yep. included, the golf courses, like all of that, like all of it. So you can see, because a lot of these people will put a video together. It's like, <clears throat> we're learning. Right. And it's so interesting how so many people just don't go the extra mile. It's like they just like have the photos in like a carousel. And I'm like, have a video so that people can see it if they're out of town or it's booked. So I just feel like that's the number one thing. So like on Friday, that's like what we're going to go do. Yes. Because it's so important when someone asks, hey, I can't make it or it's booked out. Be like, well, here's the video. Well, and what's interesting about that, us being on the other end, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to show a property. And because it's in a short term rental program, it some properties are just always booked. So you can never get in and your client is like, well, if I can't see it or even get yeah. a good video or a vibe or a feel, I can't buy it. Now cut to our clients today, because we went and we got the video, they were out of the country and they purchased sight unseen because they could really feel what it looked like what we we love to go the extra mile and really let everyone see the exact location what it's like when you're leaving the property all just the little nooks and crannies and things that make that property that property so we're gonna go in and do that because i can't tell you how many times i've tried to do a showing of and a you, property that looked great and you just can't get in because of the the renters the short-term renters and you have to you have to be ready because when buyers are hot it's yes. like you like I can't remember the saying, but like time is the like you don't if, if someone's in town and they're like wanting to buy, if you wait three weeks, they might just change their mind. I mean, that's sales in general. Yeah. No matter what, if a buyer wants to buy, their mood could change overnight, yeah. you know, so. Well, just to have the opportunity like yeah. that. I mean, we're really cool with people. If people are like, oh, I need to think about it. It's like, absolutely. But when yeah. there's a a challenge in front that could have been resolved if someone would have thought of it sooner, that's what becomes frustrating. Yeah. People will wait. It's very common. 
But if someone's ready but just can't get in and there's no video, we're like, what are you crazy? Doing? Come on. And yet, you know, it's kind of very full circle for us because today um, we were driving towards this property that we'll be listing. And as we were driving through the neighborhood, we passed the very first house that we ever rented when we moved to Florida. And when we moved to Florida, for anyone who might not remember, it was 2020, what was it, October 2020? Yep. And we were just looking for an Airbnb that had a backyard, a pool. It was right after the pandemic or during, during the pandem yeah. pandemic. And, you know, we were stuck in L.A. in this little tiny place. And so we just wanted a pool. We wanted a backyard. We wanted just some freedom. And so we got to Florida and we found this great place. But the only reason we picked Reunion, we didn't even know what Reunion Florida was, but we picked it because of the deal that we got and the house that we got. So just because by chance we were on Airbnb and we found this great deal, our whole life ended up being in Central Florida in this area and now cut to, you know, a couple of years later and we're listing nearly a $1.4 million property and that's crazy. So... It's, Life's wild. Well, it just it just brings you that way. And that's why you really can't see, like some of the life decisions that you make when you're in it, if it's going good or bad, you can't really tell until time has passed and you pull away and look at yeah. it. Because even during that, like the, like, and we don't know what our life path would have been if we would have chose a different house. Like we tried to get a different house, but they wouldn't allow dogs. And we were so <laughs> bummed. And we went back to that house because it wasn't our favorite like decor, but it had everything else that we wanted. We're like, let's take a second look. And when we clicked on it, realized they were giving a 50% discount because we were gonna be one of the first three to rent it. We were like, oh wow, this we is, it. we have Choose to do it. this. But that is what brought us into Reunion, which then, this is also wild, because we were in Reunion sharing content, this lovely couple in New York were watching our content and said, this reunion place looks great. We want to go and get an Airbnb. So they did that a year later. They came to reunion. Well, then they were like, we love this so much. We want to buy a property. And we ended up working with them with a real estate agent who works in reunion. Yeah. And her name is Abby. And when we clicked on Abby, because in the uh, multiple listing service, the MLS, which is like the official service, you can stalk uh, agents and you can see how many properties they've sold. And so everything's transparent. And we clicked on her and she had done 120 sales in the past year and a half or two years. Yeah. I was like, 120? Like, I'm trying to do the math. Like, how many is that? Like, what? And so then I said, well, what company is she with? So then we learned that they had a brokerage inside of yeah. Reunion. And so that started that. But at the time, we didn't reach out because we were doing other things. You were working with your brokerage. Right. I was with a cloud brokerage. But then when the new year started, something was pulling me to like call this brokerage. This is where your home is. It's right down the street. You've lived there. You know everything about these three areas, Champions Gate, yeah. Reunion, and Celebration. Like it's our like stretch of land that we just know. And that led us there. But all of those little things lined up to get us to this point. And I think we would have done real estate regardless, but I don't think we would have been linked up with the brokerage that we're with. Yeah, sure. Well, what else is interesting about Reunion in this area in general is it's a gated community. It's a huge community, but if you don't know about it, I mean, why would we have ever gone into Reunion unless at the time we had a new client saying, hey, we want to check out Reunion, but I just can't imagine why we would have chose that area. Like, what if we would have gone and gotten situated in Windermere or Dr. Phillips or, you know, more North yeah. Orlando. The, Orlando's huge, y'all. It is, yeah. there's so many areas. So it's just funny. I mean, you would think we would choose to learn about it and become experts there, but the reason we did is because we lived there and we knew it so well and we it loved it. It makes it so easy. Yeah. Like even when we're in Champions Gate, we tell people, or you're going, like even our new clients, they're like, how far are you? We're like, it took us eight minutes to get here. We're yep. eight minutes from the, the clients that just closed in this property. So when they go, what's there to eat or what's this area? Like we know everything, not because we did extra work. To, it's we live here. So we know it all. And then yeah. the more showings you do, the more you learn. But yeah, it's just been a, what a cool day to come back and share with you yes. because we've, we've said this before, like, you know, we can change this just like a lot of successful actors do. 
the, the more successful you become, you can create your own journey in real estate where we're going to start doing more and more deals. Sure. But when you're new, just like being a new actor, you're kind of just like busy and then you're not for three weeks. And then you're busy a little and then everything comes at once and then it could slow down. We're trying to mitigate any of those slowing down phases. Yes. Because we don't need to rely on a casting director giving us an opportunity. We can, We could go knock on doors if we needed to. So there's always something you can do. So I, I, we want to start getting rid of those waves yeah. and just being able to do real estate and try to close at least once a month. And then like our broker said, try to get it to once a week. And that's Ooh. when you're like building a huge company. It, baby. But how I see this moving forward, because we're like spinning all these plates, but we're really starting to mold it into something wonderful. Yeah. You know, the, the past year and a half has been very interesting through ups and downs and just starting a new chapter in life and starting in a new industry and having to, you know, just, I guess, just get into this new chapter sure, where, it be, where it feels like course. my life now. Like, I don't feel like I'm kind of like vacationing in Florida. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I live here. Like, we're, we meet so many friends now. We have, you know, yeah. business partner. Like, yeah. it's really, really great. Um, but the main focus we want to do is and that's why I wanted to come back with the podcast as well and we haven't set up this side of it yet but I think we're going to eventually go back to the close-ups of us yes. and start having guests again but we're, we just got to take one little step at a time to get back to it but what we we see our lives as Gary Vaynerchuk mentioned years ago Today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Figuring out what's for dinner is not at the top of anyone's summer activity wish list. HelloFresh delivers mouthwatering, chef-crafted recipes, and fresh ingredients to your door so you can spend your summer doing, well, whatever you want. Woo! This summer, spend less time meal planning and prepping with HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients that make it easy to get cooking quick. And I think that is our number, because we've, we've been working with HelloFresh for a while. We've been eating their delicious so meals. Bad. And what I love is the convenience. I don't want to go to the store and pick out all the ingredients. They just ship it right to you, all ready to go, and you start learning how to cook. So you put ingredients with other ingredients, right. and you go, oh, I never thought I could do carrots like this. And you go, oh, that's actually really delicious. I'm going to use that in the future. Take it from a novice. Yeah. Anyone can cook with yes. HelloFresh. Yeah, I, she kind of gets it ready, and I think I do the the stirring and the flipping and the the serving. Accurate, accurate. You know, but that's our little. I you help. know, but but we we like it. It makes it great, especially in the summer when we're running around like crazy. Just easy peasy. And here's the best part that I can't wait to share with you because this is incredibly generous, and I'm so happy that you all can take advantage of this. You can get 16 free meals, and Free shipping, which is just incredible. Yeah. That's that's a lot of food. I love um, free, and I love food. So if you want to hop on this journey, go to HelloFresh.com slash FreddieAlyssa16 and use code FreddieAlyssa16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash FreddieAlyssa16 and use code FreddieAlyssa16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Woo! Get to cooking, baby. Get to cooking. Now back to the show <laughs> where we're essentially a media company, comma, real estate agent and, and event planner, fill in the blank. But focusing 100% of our energy on building the Freddie and Alyssa media company brand, that will allow other avenues to become successful. Yeah. It helps us get real estate deals. It uh, helps us sell tickets to events. Or if we want to start a fashion line, like no matter what else we want to do, having a strong media company where we're having a podcast that's not only just about what's going on in our lives. I know that's one of the biggest requested things from all of you. And with every podcast, we want to fill you in. But we also want to find what's happening in pop culture, what what's going on in technology, what's going on just in different parts of the world that people are talking about and being able to put that into our context. I don't want to do 
all real estate content. I want to do Freddie and Alyssa pop culture and real estate combined. Sure. And that's kind of the media company. And then even start talking more about business and investments once we get our first investment property. Mm-hmm. And that's just kind of what we've always yeah. done. But I think having the blueprint of, of focused on the media first and then everything else is going to come with it. Yep. Do you agree? I do agree. And I know, too, we really want to focus on getting back out there and showing behind the scenes of different properties and houses yeah. and, you know, just taking you along the journey because that's that's really the whole vibe of what we're doing. That's all we really can do. Yeah, we haven't really – I don't really think we have any – um we don't really have any crazy, you know, what would you call it, um, personal or, you know, f- like we haven't really done anything uh, like leisure. No. It, I will say this year thus far has been just a year of work. There's been so much going on in real estate, um, sales, different projects. And then, of course, he mentioned the event, event planning and we are gearing up to – uh plan dinner and blanc this will be my second year as the host there are three of us all together we finally locked down the location but that's obviously a secret until the event day um but there's so much that goes behind an event for you know nearly almost 2000 people yeah so yeah we're really excited we're we've really been working on that you know behind the scenes and there there's just so much going on and i can't complain about any of it cuz i feel really grateful and blessed for every opportunity that has come into our life this year. I definitely believe this year has been filled with opportunities, which I am so incredibly grateful for because that's that was exactly what I said in the beginning of the year. I go, this yeah. is the year of saying yes. I go, yep. every opportunity universe that comes our way, I'm going to say yes to. <laughs> Literally, we have. I mean, there have been so many just projects and different things we've been working on and it's all been wonderful. So right now, I guess it's one of those things we're just staying in our lane and focusing and in that season of making, you know, work our number one and taking that to the next level so that, you know, eventually there's a time and a place for, of course, our vacations and leisure, which we'll do. But, you know, I'm just enjoying what we're doing right now and grateful. Yeah, yeah. you, you get grateful when you definitely have, um, you know, dips in life and challenges. It just kind of re organizes your perspective Mm -hmm. where now I'm just like oh my god like I I, like because I've always been confident um and I'm never cocky I mean maybe like personally between us you know like we're a little more over the top privately but you know you have to practice the art of humble uh publicly but we've always been (laughs) and always and privately (laughs) I'm not humble privately (laughs) like of course this is all gonna work uh but but yeah i've always been super confident but then when you when you you know we're 35 years old so it's not like we're 22 and we're like things are working we've had so many ups and downs throughout our entire like 17 18 year work life Mm -hmm. that when things are going good it's like just be grateful freddie just be grateful because there's going to be a roller coaster but keep on arming yourself with skills be grateful don't get emotional be patient that's been my biggest thing that I've learned this year yep. is my patience because we've had to like I've been wanting to come back to this pod for so long, but it's like I when you, I just I was like Freddie, it's gonna be fine. As soon as you come, it's all gonna it's, be yeah. just be. So I've been really taking my time, which I'm usually not like that, but yeah. it's helping me just appreciate like everything else that we're doing, and I think having things you're moving towards is also such a driver for my happiness we've said this before if i'm not making some sort of progress whether it's with weight training whether it's with money whether it's with a business whether it's with social media whether it's with you know whatever it all may be i have to see progress or i am not happy yeah and i don't mean process like i need this much or this much i just mean i'm moving in the right direction of course so that to me is like where happiness That's, truly lies yeah. is in making progress in whatever you're doing. Couldn't agree more. You know, it's it's crazy. I was talking to my mom yesterday. I've been loving lately. My mom, she'll cook dinner for me during the weeks, you know, because we're yeah. so busy. And I'll go over and I'll sit and eat with her and then I'll bring Freddie some home. And I was telling her that lately I've been really focusing on the art of truly appreciating and living and being in the moment 
And when you do that and you're not so worried about what's in the future, what's happening later, that you are, you're just enjoying this moment right now, that we're able to be here, we're able to speak with y'all, that Benji's behind us sleeping, us, uh, sleeping and resting, and, and just this moment in its own, just everything that comes with that. When you focus on that moment and just being grateful for the people you're with, what you're doing, your health, whatever it might be, we all know things can change in an instant and that life, you know, it's filled with ups and downs. That's what makes life life. Nothing's perfect. No situation's perfect. But when things are good, enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy that moment. Be grateful for it. And I've really, really over the past few months have been diving into really honing and appreciating every second and just being present. Being present is literally it's the greatest gift that's why they call it the present right yeah but i'm telling you it changes your mindset it really changes the way you feel about things and overall that's just such a positive reinforcement in your mindset of how you live every single day i am curious i can't see us millennials are i i do not know the difference if it's because i'm in my 30s or because it's the, the social media, the whole world is different era. For instance, when did, I, I just don't, I feel like the whole world is now talking about like having a journal, talking about gratitude, being in the present. It, it, it seems like we have to work on that. Like where people are like meditating, put your feet in the grass, get sunlight. Where I feel when I was 19 or 20, 21 years old, like I didn't have many work. I didn't have to work on anything. It was just kind of like Freddie in the world. And was that because I was 21 or yes. was that because the whole times were different and you we were naturally in the moment because we did not have social media, we did not have like everything so fast, it was still kind of the real world I, where you were almost forced to be present because right. you're like, my friends, like, I mean, without you guys here, like, what the hell, like, this right. is so fun. Right. Where now it's like, I'd love to see my friends, but I'm also kind of tired. I just kind of want an hour of TikTok time before right. bed. Like, is it because I was 21 and it was different? Or like, why is it so much now that people seem to have to put in, not that it's a bad thing, I'm glad we do it, but why is it that it's being talked about now that we have to like work so hard well, at it? Well, I really think it's a mixture of both. I think we're very unique being millennials because we did have life before the internet but then we did have life at the uh, with the internet at a younger age so we got to see both parts of what life is like without it and what life is like with it but i th i feel like that does very much affect this even more but when you are young doesn't matter what time you're in when you're young you like ignorance is bliss right yeah and you go out there you're filled with hope you're excited like life is ahead of you you have your whole life you haven't been cut down yet and told no that you can't do something or that your dreams can't happen whatever it might be and so as you go through your 20s that's such a period for growth and learning but then by the time you hit your 30s you're like well i know better life is not always you know perfect and so you do have to work on your mindset and you do have to know hey i gotta be grateful i gotta be thankful even when i was in my early 20s i worked for this incredible woman and she was of course a life coach right and she was fantastic and she i think was in maybe like her late 30s early 40s and she was so big and this is a long time ago you know, this is like 2010, maybe, maybe early, earlier than that. But she was so big on meditating, on journaling, on just mindset in general. And that was, you know, back then. Yeah. A lot of time has passed. So I th and if you really look at it, there have always been those thought leaders and people and conferences and things that individuals do to try and grow their mind. Because when you start going through trials and tribulations in life, you need to grab onto something that's going to make your mindset and your your internal inner strength strong because it's so easy to throw in the towel and be like you know what i'm going to be bitter i'm going to be negative i don't care this is this sucks life's hard you can't control what happens to you all you can control is how you react to it and that is the biggest key in the world of of changing your life and making it your own and knowing that hey things are going to happen life isn't perfect but we have the power to react however we want and every, everything in this life is energy, everything. And do you ever notice if you're running late for work, 
and you spilled your coffee on your shirt and you just stubbed your toe on the way out and you hit every single red light and you're like, why am I hitting every red light? It's energy. Yeah. When you don't care, you're in a good mood, you're vibing, your music's up, you hit every green light and you don't even think about it. Yeah. Because it's energy. You get what you put out. So be intentional and think about that because I'm telling you, I live by that. That's why you always laugh, but our entire relationship, mindset is my biggest thing. I don't, of course, nothing's perfect. If you're going through something, let it out. Be upset. Cry it out. Be frustrated. Yell, scream, whatever. Then get over it and move on. Yeah. Be positive. Think positive thoughts. <laughs> it's a real thing. No, I think I think you hit it. I think it's the, the naivete, the being green, um, ignorance is bliss. I think is what it was when you're younger. You you just you can't because you haven't gone through it. Understand what could possibly go wrong. You haven't had a friend screw you over. You haven't had a breakup. You haven't been uh, someone didn't steal from you yet or f you over. And so once you kind of get beat up a little bit then you start realizing like, oh, things aren't like, you have to actually choose to find the good because now you've seen the good and the bad. Yeah. So it, it does become work, um, you know, but that's why you just got to surround yourself with the good people. Like all of the information's out there. Mm -hmm. It's so simple, but yet we have, you have to fight and you have to push and stay disciplined with your, with your positivity. Of course you do. Even when we were growing up, remember the secret it's yes. a book, and I think they made a movie out of it. I think Oprah Winfrey was in it. I never, I don't know if I saw it, but remember that was such a thing. When like we manifestation were and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and it's when we were young, so it's always been out there. Yeah. Everyone's going through stuff all the time. It's just knowing how to, you know, battle and work your mindset, right? Yeah. I'm sure social media and the internet has not helped. <laughs> Unless you've <laughs> curated your algorithm to see personal development. Which you do. Yeah, mine's all... You see great stuff. Mine's all mine's like great. scandal. Well, and it's also interesting <laughs> too because even my mom's finally on TikTok. And really? Yeah, so she's she's all... But she's like, did you hear this news? And I'm like, what? Like she like, sees dances see and dogs yeah. and like... So her whole feed is so different than mine because mine after all this time is just so curated. But... Uh, but yeah, no, it's 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 really great. And then uh, speaking of parents and everything, we'll we'll end on this note just to give you a little preview of kind of what's yeah. happening that we're excited for. Um, my dad's coming out. We haven't done a DIY project in while five months, six months, just because again we just we've been trying to do the hardwood floors. I think since April, but it's just we couldn't find a week. And then since you're going out of town. Grandma's 92nd birthday, baby. To celebrate, I'm going to be home uh, holding down the fort with work. We have a client coming into town. <coughs> and um, Benjamin can't fly anymore and we can't have him be like watched by anybody because you know, he's about to be 15 years old. So I was going to be home alone with Benjamin doing a showing maybe, I think maybe, we were trying to just schedule it right now. Mm -hmm. It might just be the 14th. Yeah. So we'll have to see. I was like, what a better time for my dad to come down. We'll have the place to ourselves. We can rip up the carpet. And so Alyssa and I went and got all these beautiful vinyl flooring that we're going to do the dining room and living room to start. And then we already priced out and mapped everything out for the studio and the two other bedrooms. But we're going to do that in a different section just because of timing and just might as well just right. wait. But that'll that'll be basically it. We're almost done with like the upgrades, but it's fun to kind of continue to yeah. do them. And I'm really pumped to do some before and afters and and just have a functional upgrade. Yeah. Because the carpet, we've just been wearing the hell out of it, and it's just you know, it got there was like a uh, the, the sprinkler that you know ruined some of it by the sliding and door and the hurricane and all of that. So we're like, it's time to rip it out because if you forget your keys or you need to grab something. If take your shoes off because we don't want to walk on the carpet. But now it's like, let's just put the hardwood in. This way we can just swift it, vacuum it, and keep yep. it nice and clean. And it'll stay sturdy depend, you know, for the future too. So if we if we decide to rent this out or stay here forever, but at least we know it's going to last for a long yeah. time and carpet is going to go to crap eventually. Yeah. I mean, I do love the coziness of it on my feet, but... We'll just get some rugs. We we'll get we will get some rugs. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Freddie Smith well, said we get so, some rugs. So if we have so there would be a rug underneath the podcast table. There would be one under the coffee table, under the dining table, and under each bed. I guess you could do that. Under the dining table, yeah, I guess so. Or maybe not. Let's not do that. We don't need that. Do no. we need that? 
I'm just trying to envision it in my head. Yeah, you. Pr it just. I'm. I'm so weird. When we moved in, I'm like, why does the dining room have carpet? <laughs> I was so perturbed by that. They, they didn't have to do anything. They, I mean, they could have just done nothing, and people would have bought it. That's like, what if people spill their spaghetti or something? Just leave it there. It's but part then, of the. But it has grown. It has grown on me because I love the way it feels on my feet, and I love the way a clean vacuum carpet looks. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Yeah, you. You're, yeah, you're gonna lose that. I'll, I'll lose that. But yeah. hey, if I spill spaghetti, we can wipe it up. So. We don't have spaghetti. <laughs> if anything, you make buttered pasta. With a little cheese. It's like my own mac and cheese, homemade. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I am too. We're going to have leftovers. My mom made us. She, it's, That's a little heavy for lunch. Oh, it's so good. I don't know what I'm going to have. We call it my sausage dinner. I'm going to stop dinner. at the grocery store. All I have is just ground turkey. I really like it though. I make ground turkey breast it's got 520 calories through the whole entire thing like 80 grams of protein and mix some vegetables in did you hear Big, that no what i think we just lost our listeners <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't want you guys to fall asleep Fall to sleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Oh, look, you're picking on me now, honey. Yeah. Did you guys like the joke? I oh. think we all I think we all thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> the joke. Um, but that's that. And I won't talk any more about No, I want to hear more the, about the it. Food. Tell me. No. What are you gonna have? No, I I'm I'm gonna I don't really know. Maybe I'll get a double cheeseburger and a coffee. <laughs> Oh, I do like that too. Been doing that a lot, which we is love bad, our afternoon but... coffee. But hey, say love. I don't know. I go back and forth. I just want to feel amazing and keep losing weight. But then there's times I'm just like, I just want to be, and I just want a double cheeseburger mm -hmm. and and a coffee uh -huh. and uh -huh. some chips. You uh -huh. know. So life is all about balance, baby. Yeah, I gotta stay present in the moment. Be patient. <laughs> I'll be patient with my health and wellness journey. <laughs> So we'll see. But um, oh, thank you boy. all so much for uh, for tuning in mm -hmm. uh, and rooting us on. Yes. And uh, we definitely saw a lot of the comments and messages and emails about the about the show coming back. And, we love and you. so We've thank you. you. So uh, yeah, we'll be here next uh, Wednesday, which we're gonna have to film before you leave. Yep. So uh, maybe we can do that this weekend, which would be really great. Maybe we can find some topics and see what we can do yeah. there. But so we'll sure. we'll continue to evolve it. We also want to work on a new opening. I think everyone loves to welcome everyone to the Friday List Show if you're new to the channel like that. But I also, for new listeners, I want to add in something about real estate so that people will know that we're agents because yeah. if we don't talk about it during the episode, it'd be nice to plug it in the beginning, yeah. but not in like a weird way. Right. And uh, so we're going to work on a little thing we can all curate together. So, but I yeah, like I think that's it. We we're wishing you a great week and, um, and yeah, we will see, enjoy summer. I know it's summer everywhere now, yes. so enjoy the warm weather enjoy, and baby. we will see you next Wednesday. Take care, see everyone. You.